But let's start with the big one, the Suicide Squad Entertainment Weekly Covers and Images. So Suicide Squad has taken over this week's issue of Entertainment Weekly with some colorful covers, some never before seen images, and some words from director David Ayer about feeling the pressure of the film, saying that the expectations have kind of skyrocketed lately, putting the pressure on them since BVS was kind of not Dull. what they were expecting, especially critically and even among the fans. So we got a whole bunch of different covers. We got four covers, one with Joker and the Harley Quinn, one with Deadshot, Rick Flag, and Enchantress, one with Amanda Waller, Killer Croc, and Slipknot, and one with Diablo, Captain Boomerang, and Katana. And we got some new images, some with Harley Quinn drinking tea and reading a book, a one with the Joker and Harley Quinn in some type of meeting with a gangster, it looks mm -hmm. like. They look uh, up you know, that's common. Is it? That's common. Oh, that's yeah. right. They look up to no good in that mm -hmm. picture. I feel like he's going to kill that guy right, right yeah. after that. Well, that's that scene. Yeah. That must be right before – that image is right before Batman comes out on the on the – on the car oh it must be a flashback because their their clothes are the same ones as they are in the car oh yeah that must so. be a flashback and then we also have a few other ones david ayer directing will smith so jake how did you feel about these covers these pictures and david ayer's comics about the pressure you know after uh last year when the whole civil war fiasco happened with entertainment weekly and and they had the the meow caption next to black panther i kind of i took stepped away oh, from that was entertainment horrible. Weekly images um you know the covers in the past have kind of been uh, well, you know, subpar compared to everybody else. Like they had the whole Terminator stuff where they were yelling and screaming and like that kind of stuff. So it was kind of cheesy. But um, so as far as Entertainment Weekly goes, they're pretty good images. The magazine covers, yeah, I um, like them. I mean, they're they're stills. You know, you just see the the characters standing alongside one another with their weapons and uh, Joker and Harley Quinn. You know, acting fools and looking scary as hell at the same time. But um, the magazine covers look really cool. I love that when you put them together, it's one giant image. It looks pretty cool together. Um, I love the, the official images as well. There's a bunch of good stuff in there. Uh, the meeting between the three characters is really cool as well. Just with the potential of, you know, maybe five seconds after that image is shot, Batman comes kind of rolling in, breaking everything up or something. Oh, yeah. Like you, totally you can kind that. of see it in your head. Yeah. Um, and then also today they also released those those mug shots I was showing you earlier. Yeah, that's which is true. really we, I didn't cool have that in the notes, but those are cool. Those mug yeah, shots especially because really it's awesome. Suicide Squad and they're villains. And they're all criminals too. It's a cool marketing and they, ploy. it's funny that they have Amanda Waller has one too. Because yeah, she's not a criminal. Yeah, but it's it's a she's cool one marketing of the main thing. Characters, so. it, it's kind of like what Deadpool was doing with him or with with himself, and you know they're villains, so why not throw mug shots as official images in there? It's really cool and. Um, I, this, they released a synopsis. The synopsis looks really good. There's a bunch of cool stuff in there, some revealing stuff, and uh, so yeah, no, it's it's getting me hyped, man. This movie, um, especially after BVS uh, and like David Ayer was saying, the pressure is there. Yeah, and if it doesn't succeed, it's going to be trouble for for DC and There's Warner Brothers. There's an unfair amount of pressure on this. There movie. is, yeah, but I think that they're able to sustain it, and I think that they're going to pull off something pretty good, and it's the first of its kind, and. You have all kinds of great actors in there, and the the potential's there, and um, everything we've seen so far is is you know it's a plus. So yeah, yeah I think excited. this definitely continues the great marketing of Suicide Squad so far. I've loved almost every trailer. I've loved all the images. It looks so amazing. I'm just ready to see the movie. Yeah, I really like these really covers. A month. Also, yeah, really? less than a month. Less now. than a month away, man. I'm. The tickets aren't even on sale yet. Next I week. Have, are, are they? I think we're going to go yeah. IMAX. I'm thinking so yeah. too. I, I think visually that movie yeah, is going to be sure. amazing. Yeah, I love all the covers. I love the, the images. I kind of want I want a Harley Quinn poster in my room. Margot Robbie, Harley Quinn. I'm already in love with her. Can't wait to watch the movie. And yeah, I agree with David Ayer that there is this crazy amount of pressure on this movie. And it's not fair, but I think... And I hope that it lives up to the expectations because this movie looks amazing. And I want the DC Universe to succeed. I really do. And I, they're not going to cancel Wonder Woman and Justice League if Suicide no, Squad no, fails. No. But it's going to you know, create a stink around DC and continue that, especially after the failures, if you want to call them failures, of BBS. I so. think the lucky the, – well, not the lucky thing, but the thing that Suicide Squad has going forward is because it is so different. Oh, yeah. You don't know what to expect going in. So critics True. and audience members and fans won't be going in like, okay, how is this going to compare to D to BVS or, yeah, it's way or Man of Steel or whatever? You can't because it's so different. And there's there are, there are connections, but at the same time, it's so different. Like it's guard it's their Guardians of the Galaxy where 
it's still connected to the universe. Yeah, but, but it's, it's so it's different very from separate. everything else. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like that, and I'm we're all looking forward to this movie. 